We're live from Harry Hines. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our second episode of Live from Harry Hines. Tonight we have none other than Mr. Slim Hunter. What it do, what it do, what it do. It's so overnight. Yes, sir. We are so happy to to have you here. It's an honor to be here. I couldn't wait for it. It's been built. (laughs) For real. Alrighty, well, we have a couple of questions for you today. Um, we're gonna try to get the audience, you know, to get to know you because I know you've been doing music for a while, so we kind of wanna. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about Slim. You you go by Slim Hundo or Slim? What do you prefer? I I mean, as far as the music is, yeah, Slim Hundo, but every day my partners and shit like that, you know, Slim. You know, that's what slim. they go by. Okay. It's just a Slim, you know. That's my alter everyday ego people, name. Slim, but. <laughs> When you looking me up in the music, type the hundo, H-U-N-D-O, don't forget that, you know. Don't forget the hundo, yeah. already. So Slim, where are you from? Originally, I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you know. I moved to Dallas when I was 13, you know, so half and half, you know what I'm saying, so. I'm but 13. shit, pretty much where I'm from, you kind of, you kind of learn everything. You need to kind of know, not everything, but what most was- of the shit, you kind of know Early at an early, early age, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say yeah. you you do kind of you kind of forced to grow up earlier, and so yeah, I was kind of established. Like I didn't been through a lot of shit before I came down here. What was your childhood like? Man, I mean, I had some good times and some bad times. To be honest, I didn't seen a lot growing up. Being from Elm Grove Projects, I didn't seen a lot early. You know, murders. But I done had some good times too. <laughs> we used to go to Boy Scout camp every summer. The whole projects we in there, you know what I'm saying? That was our highlight of our whole summer. So what uh, were you we, like in high school? Oh, I was man. I was. I ain't gonna lie. I was. I was always <laughs> in the cut. I tried to be in the cut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I attempted to do the sports. You know what I'm saying? I tried to stay out the way. But yeah, I was in the cut. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. I wasn't no lame. I knew a lot of people, but. I stay out the way. I don't really chase the popularity. I get that. Yeah. Okay, so where um, you said you 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 just threw a lot on me real quick. Hold my on, bad, let my me bad, break my it bad. down I'm a little too bit. Fast little bit. So okay, so you grew up in Baton Rouge. What was the name of the city again? Baton Rouge, Louisiana. No, but the something oh, Grove. Oh, Elm Grove. That's the Elm name Grove. of the apartments I can I grew up in. Oh, okay, gotcha, Elm gotcha, Grove. gotcha. Yep. Okay. Okay, yeah. so what brought you to Texas? Like, because you said you moved at 13, so by then you, like yeah, you said, you already uh-huh. witnessed, like, a whole murder, all this yeah, stuff going really, on. Yeah, really, I could have stayed down there with my daddy's side or whatever, but mm-hmm. my grandma had a good job out here in Texas, working at the uh, job co or whatever, so, so I had to... Yeah, I was I always been with my grandma. She raised me, but uh, yeah, once she had got that good opportunity, I, I ain't fuck it. I might well go for change. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause I could have stayed. And next thing you know, two years later, could have caught my first charge. Anything, but I saw Texas as a brand new opportunity, so I just took it. Came down here, got on my little, tried to do my little sports thing, but that school shit wasn't really. What sport? Well, what sports? Like, what sport did you play? In, I in I, was, I was I was really trying to be on that football shit. Okay. I really, but I played that and basketball. They tried to make me run track, but I wasn't fucking with it. I hate a track. I wasn't going to no meets. They they made me run a few hundreds. I ain't, I ain't with it. Do you get tackled too hard in football? You're like nah. Oh no, nigga, I tell you. <laughs> what happened the, the, there? The Why couple did you years I did play, you know, you know, what I'm saying? I ain't get tackled too much. I did the tackling. I'm a defensive type type of guy, but I get on offense and mouse a nigga a few times. Yeah. My so, boy make them know about me out there. They know what it is. Right. So whenever you moved to Texas, did you already like have it like in your mind that you wanted to do music or what like tell me like along your journey, when were you like, all right, this is this is what I wanna do, like I wanna do music. Yeah. Well, I ain't gonna say when I came to Texas, no, I ain't even gonna cap and tell you that. But I say <laughs> shit. I, like I say when, around fifteen. Okay. I say when I was like a freshman in high school, I picked up with it, like going to my partner house, fucking around, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But anywhere from like five years ago, I started actually paying and investing in myself, you know what I'm saying? Getting right. real studio time, going fuck with real engineers and shit like that. What age but was yeah, that? shit, I say goddamn about 21. When it got serious. Yeah, when it got serious, about 21. I'm not a baby no more. Shit, fuck it, I gotta go ahead and. 
too late to stop, you know what I'm saying? Why give up now? Gotta go ahead and put that money behind it. Take money to make money. So that's like when your passion for music started. Yep. I like that. That's what I mean, said. people was telling me I had something, so I mean... I know a lot of time, a lot of people don't like to tell their friend if they do suck, you hear me? But I always try to get the truth up out of my friends. Man, if that <laughs> shit ain't hard, let me know something, man. Don't let me put right. out no trash, man. That's how I be coming to my dogs. But yeah, that's what, about the time. What artists, like, did you listen to growing up that kind of influenced you to be like, hey, I could, like, I like this. I could kind of mm-hmm. do this. Man, where I'm from... It was a lot of local music, so I say growing up, man. Like back was, in Ben Rouge. Yeah, Ben Rouge. What was like? It was a lot of Boosie, Webby, okay. uh, you know, Boosie. you know, Trill and T, you know, you know, uh, of course Wayne, and, you know, Louisiana music, period. But when I moved to Texas, when I started really listening to everybody, you know what I'm saying, from Atlanta to up north to west coast, all that, really just getting the if for everything, you know what I'm saying. That's right, why I right. think. I pride in my music on trying trying to be a little versatile, having different different sounds. So when I do drop that first tape, that bitch gonna be pressure from front to back, cause that bitch gonna have so many different styles of songs on that bitch. But yeah, Boosie, Webby, you know they they influenced it. You know everybody, every rapper from I think every rapper from my city, he lying if he ain't say Boosie had an influence on him. He lying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know niggas be having pride issues, but if niggas say Boos ain't influence him on the music, he lying. So he was definitely one of the like larger influences. Oh shit, shit. Like sound wise, because I know you the said whole like soul. the spectrum. Like, so where did this broad spectrum come from? Like, man, the nigga Boos go go get it, man. <laughs> Boos go get it, man. Boos had all that money, all them cars. Nigga wanted that. Nigga wanted that, taking care of his people, you know what I'm saying? Nigga wanted that, traveling. Good. Nigga wanted that, eating like that, for real. That's a good, um, like, aspiration to have, like, moving forward. So, tell me a little bit about, let's go back to, to Slim Hundo. <laughs> you just up? dropped a single on Friday. Oh, shit, yeah. Tell me about that. Oh, yeah, I just dropped that Chasing the Paper Chasing on the all paper. streaming platforms. Go check that out. You know, that's, that song right there, man, it, it kind of get deep, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I kind of touched on a, a lot of topics on there, you know what I'm saying? Took it back to the hood. Long live Peasy, long live CJ, CJ, well, no way. They know how they go. Shout out to Am Grove, Third World, Scotlandville. Yeah. It's always going to have a place in my heart, you hear me? But yeah, I, I, I touched on everything. My brothers, you know what I'm saying? The niggas who with me right now, who's helping me try to get to the top, pushing my shit. They, ain't, they don't got to believe in my dream. I, I remind them niggas every chance I get. Hey, I love y'all niggas. I appreciate everything you do, you hear me? Yeah, I try to reach out to mine while I'm still here. I could, <laughs> I could die in a car wreck tomorrow and I ain't get that chance to let them know I love them. But you know, you got to reach out to your people. So but you yeah. think that song was like for your people, like it was like that honorary, shit, shit. like that Letting song pe- that you write that's for them? What I, yeah, that's what I try to do in all my music. Let the people who support me know I see y'all supporting me. I right. shout a nigga out. I ain't worried about throwing no punchline about the Tom Cruise or somebody who I already know, you know what I'm saying? I don't right, let right. them know about the people who are close to me, you know what I'm saying? The day one. Straight up. That's how I be rocking. I'm going to let them know about mine. You know what I'm saying? You mentioned Hundo Gang and Chasing the Paper. Yep. So tell me, Hundo Gang, is that your people? Like That's that's that's, that's more like the brand. You know what I'm saying? Me, your and, brand me, me and the homies, we treat my name like a brand. You know what I'm saying? As far as the rap, we, we try to treat it like a brand. That's but nice. we've been had the YNCP, Young Niggas Chasing Paper, for years. We've been, right, that right. been just the family. You know what I'm saying? It's like one family. It ain't no... No, no click or nothing like that. We just a family. We all came up together, stick together, been together for years. You know what I'm saying? So we always stuck to that. That's the motto. That's that's, well, that's the motto. Go get that paper. You know what I'm saying? The Hundo Gang and the YNCP. Okay, yep, so I get thing. it. So Hundo Gang is your is your the logo. Rap, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, and then YNCP is your people. Exactly. How did you come up with that? Like, how did you come up with your your artist name and like YNCP, Hundo Gang? Yeah, I uh, man, shout out Flame. Uh, he was okay. like a, uh, okay. he was my partner. He was my partner. Uh, Danny, Danny F. Dot go by Danny Rodriguez. Check him out. He was his manager at the time. 
And he actually took kind of took me under his wing for a little while and told me, you know what I'm saying, he going to fuck with me. He going to really fuck, you know, he had to focus on Danny, but he going to fuck with me and put me on game a little bit, basically. So I went over there, fucked with him, did a little photo shoot, and he gave me some homework. Man, go, you got to come up with a different name. I used to go by Lil Randis, but, you know, that sound basic right there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody loves something. You know what I'm saying? Everybody loves something or big yeah. something, you know what I'm saying? That was kind of basic. Not he gave me that homework. Though. He gave me that homework, go home and think of a rap name. So I went out on it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My people, some people already called me Slim. My aunt called me Slim, you know what I'm saying? I'm a slim nigga, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I so it always, came from like what your family called you. Yeah, some so close like you're people. Like yeah, family some close name. people. Okay. But uh yeah, and it just makes sense. I always have been skinny, kind of tall, you know what I'm saying? And uh the Hundo shit, it just makes sense. I'm, I always took pride in being one hundred. You feel me? It just makes sense. Me and my gang, we always kept took pride in being real, keeping it one hundred. No matter what. That's but yeah, that's up. where that all came from. So for tell sure. me about 2020. I know it's been a pretty good year for you. You've dropped four singles it, so far. Yeah. Everything ain't what it looked like, though. It ain't been no good year for me. Well, then, but I mean, I've been trying to it's just stay on, been the, stay good on you track, were able though. to drop, you know, some music. And, like, that Facts. that's something, Facts. you know. That's a blessing to be able to have people with you and be able to, like, drop that. Yeah, you did yeah. that. You did, you did it four yeah, times right. in one of the hardest years that... You're right. We've ever had, so you're that right, is cause something. Right, because last year I wasn't doing that. That was my problem so last year. It's progress and it's not like so for me. Which one was like your favorite out of the four I, that you dropped thus far? Man, that's a hard one right there. I think I'm fucking with that, that for me because I got the most feedback off of that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? People was, was people was hitting me like people was hitting me left to right. Hey, man, you gotta get a video for that. Hey, man, man, get that on the radio, man. Get me out, man. I'm fucking with that. Like the females, you know what I'm saying. But speaking of that, like like I was saying, I ain't really dropped no music last year. I was sitting on shit, and that for me, I'm glad I dropped that like a month ago, because I look up on the internet. No, no shade to nobody. Shout out them. But I look up and I see Rollo and um, yo, got it, got the song for me. On the YouTube, you hear me? So I'm like, damn. Good thing I dropped my shit when I dropped it, cause a nigga would have thought I was, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. stealing some shit. But you know, it'd go the other way. If it was the other way around, nobody wouldn't acknowledge it. But I'm glad I just dropped my shit. You know what I'm right. saying? Good time. I can always go shoot a video, but hey, what you mean? That bitch been on Apple since. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That bitch been on there. <laughs> and I mean, Dang. it's definitely you. Like it's definitely that's you know the yeah. song for me. Like I think. Like, you sure. did your thing on that one. That one was really, really good. That's I Appreciate also like it. Straight Drop, though. And that was the first oh, yeah. one you dropped that, that, this year. Yeah, that bit been, yeah. yeah, I went back to the hood. That, that one has a video. I so went back home and did that, that bit. I went back home. Fuck with Deacon. Shout out Deacon Films. Shout out EG3 Jew. Okay. Yeah, my people was in that bitch with me. Shout out Chuko. He went back home with me. That's my Dallas partner. He from North Dallas. Okay. You know, shout out him. Yeah, I went back home. Shit, that. they shut my projects down. They closed down, you know what I'm saying? But I was in front of that bitch raping, you know what I'm saying? Try to go back home every chance that. I get. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I know you told me that it was hard for you. Oh, t Well, you did tell me you picked a favorite. My bad, my bad. <laughs> so um, is there a story, like, what's your favorite story behind any of the songs, like, making them? Man, oh... Uh... I had to say, as far as the ones that's story. out, yeah. As far as the as ones that's, that's out, out right uh, now. cause you got straight drop with the game for me. Them that that for, that for me <laughs> had that 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 for me was unique, cause my my partner shout out Black Rhino. You it know, definitely was. What my, was the story behind you writing it though? Cause it, that's, I didn't that's tell the me the thing I'm about to get to, it, cause. It's 2020, and we ain't really writing no more. Shout out yeah. Black Rhino. He put me on there. You know what I'm saying? It ain't really no writing. I'm blessed to have somebody like him who got the studio at the crib and actually know know how to, got a good ear. You know what I'm saying? Right. So he called me up. Hey, come through. Let's let, let get it in. I pull up. He, he whip out the beat. <laughs> Damn, I'm fucking with that. I've I been actually thinking about this idea, you know, for me. It's, this the whole writing process right here, Shade. Right now, what's kind of popping in the rap game is kind of like 
what's trending on social media, you better put that in your song. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even if it's just one bar. So I see a lot on social media. It's the such and such for me. It's that for me. It's, you know what I'm saying? So I went ahead and hurry up and like, damn, that's a good idea to put in the song. So my right. partner hit me and right. showed that beat and I was like, damn, all right, I'm about to put that idea down on that beat right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Shit, bam, got to doing, you know, punching. I say four bars and hey, stop me right there. That's how it go these days. Uh, all these rappers saying they freestyling, they not freestyling. That's what the freestyle is in 2020. Back in 93, niggas was really in that bitch, Jay-Z and them and that bitch really coming out the dome, Weezy and them coming out the dome. But man, all this shit punching, I mean, shit, it is what it is. That's how you gonna get your money. I ain't writing no more really these days. I ain't wrote nothing in like, shit, nine months. So, I'm, I'm coming, stepping in my dog shit and just, uh, Stop me right there. Start me from right there. You know what I'm saying? That's how it go. I feel like everybody definitely has their preferred method of like. But you're right. You're right. You're right. I do right. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, no but I I'm am right, about, like, and from, I do as right. As far as us fellas, like the <laughs> rap, you know, the rap, like the, you know what I'm saying, the hard, like the rap, rap. You know what I'm saying? Right. We going in there, but you, how long you been doing your thing? This ain't about me, though. Now, how long you... Just tell me how long you been doing your thing, I've been though. officially, like, recording music since I was 18. Okay. How old you now? 23. 23, okay. You been doing it for a few years, though. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, shit. Everybody got their own method, like you say, but... Exactly. I still write my stuff sometimes, but it's gonna go quicker. I can knock more out when I just... You definitely have but to, But I'm like, not paying for... Like, if I was paying for studio time still, mm -hmm. oh, you damn right I'm going to write it. Because I got to have my shit together when I step in there. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I say I appreciate my partner, Black Rhino. Yeah. Because he know what he's doing with the engineer, and I can step in his shit and take my time, listen to that bit. I ain't rushed. You know I mean, what I'm at saying? the end of the day, those, that's your team. You're building a team. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah, it's coming so. together strong, too. I'm loving that. Chasing that paper. I think 2021 going to be a good year for all of us. You too. Yes, I wish sir. the best for y'all. Oh, I appreciate that. XO Overnight, I wish the best for y'all. Shout Last out them. Shout out Yes, man. <laughs> okay. How they okay, dropping okay. through the... I don't think that was on straight drop because I had fuck with Q Red on that one, I think. Q Red produced the song? Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. And he's a producer from... Baton Rouge. Baton yeah, he been on a lot of them rappers from Baton I really like if that they came like, out of Baton Rouge, that's they That's a party song. Red. I was like, I can see me getting mm -hmm. lit to this song. That bitch <laughs> Straight <banger>. drop. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I, I was finna do some things with that song before COVID hit, too. I was finna push it. Push it in the clubs, get it to the DJs. Then COVID hit. Boom. You do live in Texas, though. Fucked so. us up. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... That is still possible, so that's definitely like yeah, you know future it. goals and stuff we like that that you may it. have. I felt that. For sure. Well, thank you for answering my questions. Uh, it's all good. We're gonna it's be all moving all on to the same. Thank you for coming for real. Oh, you know I'm I hit him coming. up. You know I hit him up in the DM. Up. I was like, Slim, you want to do an interview, bro? He yeah, was you know like, I'm Yeah, showing I'm showing up. I'm showing up. I fucks with you. For sure. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so this segment is called Three Truths or Three Shots, where the audience is going to be asking us questions, you and I both, need to play. Woo. And either you want to answer and give them the truth, or you take the shot. And today, we prepared the little Mexican candy shots and these syringe. 20. Some 20 of them are little, Yeah. So. Shout out fully. Some of them are a little fuller than others, God but damn. we'll be good. Alrighty. Pito. Do you want to start first, or should I go first? You go first. You go first. All right, bet. Ladies first. Audience Ladies number. First. Yeah, there okay. we go. So I'm like ready to take this <laughs> shot. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Sorry. the first question for you is, who's that one guy uh, you've made all them love songs about? Um. What love songs? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got a lot. Of them. Uh oh. Relationship I'm take the songs. Shot. Relationship socks. Shot, you already finna be out of there. Alright, it's not too bad. Let's go. Alright, So. <laughs> Sid, let me take that Slim, shot. Slim, your question is uh, Name the little booty cheek girl you keep mentioning uh, <laughs> in your songs. For me, straight drop. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> that's my oh, oh if it had to be anybody, it's gonna be my baby mom, you know, Jay. Okay. Next question. Next. Next question. I'm up one. Check I the score. Check the score. Next question is for Slim. Have you ever ran off on the plug? <laughs> oh, I ain't never ran off on the plug. I ain't, I ain't never been. I believe in karma. <laughs> I believe in karma. <laughs> that was easy. Anybody? Never mind. Never mind. I <laughs> ain't never ran off on me either. Damn, I guess I guess I gotta ask you the same question, Shaden. Have you ever ran mm. off with a plug? Mm. Ooh. Uh, or set the plug up, you know. Or set the plug. Definitely not set the plug up. Ran off on the plug. I'm gonna take another shot just to make the game. Huh? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Jeez. I'm feeling like I'm Look feeling back. like I'm up by twenty. <laughs> <laughs> you're at two points, but because you're answering. Okay, make All a good right. question. Y'all make up a good, good question, ask, audience. Ask, ask both of All right, so this next question is for both of y'all. Y'all don't have to answer at once uh, at, at the same time, but have you ever had sex in the club? Like Usher? What? <laughs> <laughs> No. No, definitely not. But I'll take a shot, but no. Shit, just because I got Let's three of them in here, you know what I'm saying? I took all three. <laughs> nah, we, we ain't hitting nothing in the club. Dang, you only took one. All right, well. I got a partner who will probably hit something in the club, though. I ain't going to say her name. Yeah, here's something in that bit. Hey, let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> All righty, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Mr. Slim Hundo, we are going to put your info yeah. right here. Where to reach him on Twitter, Instagram, his music. Shout out live from Harry Hines. You know, it's all love there. Thank you. I'm going to come back for sure. You know, expect me to come back through. You, you know, it's going to be live again. You know, live action. Come on, prepare next time. I'm really... We're going to really turn up. Come back. We turned up. We turned up, but it's going to be better every time. It's going to be better every time. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, Thank you. Know,